Hey, this is Diesel. Just want to say I hope you enjoy the show. But first, I got to warn you. We don't know any of you, the listener, or your families personally. So if we, or I, say anything to offend your race, creed, color, religion, or any other shit I forgot, I'm just going to say sorry that you're stupid. As for the gays, I'm probably going to say something bad. And if you don't like it, just grease your boyfriend's runway and move on. Enjoy the show. Ah, yeah, one more thing. We're by no means professionals I've ever claimed to be. Trust me, you're in that as the show goes on. We're just six guys with six mics and time to kill, so please enjoy the show. Wow. I got my own rock band. Nobody cares. I got a million plus fans. Nobody cares. I can rock the mic. Nobody cares. I got a song in my life. Nobody cares. Check O's be the white guy, O be the square. Little Joe ain't here and don't nobody care. Where's Joe at? Man, fuck that guy who needs that dumb motherfucker when you got Black Sky. <laughs> yup, in the house, Black Sky. But who came up missing? Yup, that guy. And we're here off the brain and we bring no pain. If it looks like brain, bring that blah blah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I said the wrong line. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody cares. No one gives a cuff. Nobody cares. <laughs> <gets. laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, God, whenever oh, there's whenever man. there's rappers here, you get all intricate. Are you, <laughs> no, no, he's no, auditioning. No, no, no. He's <laughs> auditioning. <laughs> hey, he I want, had, hey, no, no, no. I had like five different. I had like five different lines in my head, and I couldn't come up with one no, that dude, I liked. You can join them. <laughs> so I started. I started. I started making no, one up. It could be like. And so um, what I was trying to say. What I wait. <laughs> It could be Black Sky with a son. No, no. You, you could join their group. No. <laughs> with the no uh, what I was trying to say, if it looks like Rains, because we're riding with Black Sky. But that would have been I, good. I messed up. I messed up big time. Anyways, I normally don't mess up, so I must that be mic, tired. motherfucker. Anyways, welcome to the Nobody <laughs> Care Show. My name is Jekyll, and as always, I got my good friends around me. JJ Diesel. Uh, what's going on? O Squared. What's up? No Show Joe. Is not here again. Fuck and yeah. uh, <laughs> Tiny, a.k.a. Little Homie. What's happening? Big Mackin. Uh, and also, in the house tonight, in case you haven't heard, PB, Louis the 13th? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I didn't want to say, I almost said 14th. <laughs> <laughs> you caught him off guard, too, because that, uh-huh. <laughs> PB, <laughs> Louis the 13th, Black Sky is in the house. Black Sky, y'all. Wait, we have he a... the 14th off a couple drinks. <laughs> We, ha- yeah. we have somebody else too, uh, and uh, and uh, Louis' brothers in the house too. Kendama. Yeah, well, what's what's Louis' brother's name? Uh-huh. Kendama. 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 All right, wow. sound good. Kendama. Uh, Black Sky, you want to say hi to the ladies real quick? They've been waiting for you to come through. Uh, what up, lady? PB, my pretty hmm. boy for a reason. Like our yeah. female ratings just went up like fifty percent, I think. There's a yeah. good chance yeah. of that. It's possible. Sixty yeah. percent, sixty-five, yeah. seventy. <laughs> it's rising. <laughs> it's rising. <laughs> it's rising. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Facebook right now telling everybody where I'm at. Very good. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, now that nice. I'm talking, the ladies' race is going to go down just a little bit, but not by much. Um, <laughs> well, the gay population just went through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no, no, here. Noted. <laughs> yeah, I'm Noted. not Joe, dude. I'm uh, not Joe. Sorry. Come on now. Get it right. <laughs> All right. Bad. In case you guys don't know what we do here at the Nobody Cares Show, we give uh, independent artists such as Black Sky. An outlet, a place to play their music, a place to get heard, and a place to get critiqued and judged. Uh-huh. Not just judged by anybody, but judged by four guys who pretty much know nothing yes. about music. But we're the real. average consumer. But we are the average consumer. Yes. And so because of that, we keep it real, and we're going to tell you our real opinion. Yes. And what that's going to let you know is if people out there, when they hear, their mu- hear your music, if they would actually go out and purchase it. Right? True. Yeah, So absolutely. basically, we're the stepping stone that you need to take before you break into the industry so that you know whether or not you can make it. Yeah. Yeah. Very well, well put. Well, yeah, yeah. It's better than your rap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank good. you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm turning time over to Tiny now to get this thing started. Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Uh, thank Black Sky for being here. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know, check out our webpage, nobodycareshow.com. If you guys want to leave mm-hmm. us any comments, you can email us, nobodycareshow at gmail.com, or you could text us or leave a voice message on our heat line. It's 909-907 Heat. Uh 909-907-4328. Make sure you check out Jay and Dirty Bob show. Please do. It's on iTunes. Subscribe. Download all the shows. Get caught up. Uh it's pure heat. If you wanna uh 
If you want to ask them a question, you can email them at gendirtybobshow at gmail.com or you can call one of their heat lines. 909-547-HEAT, 909-547-4328 or 828-536-9675, 828-5-DO-WORK. Joining us in the chat room, we have uh, Zane Jones, Booyah. who was a, 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 a former artist, a former submitter to our show. Welcome. Uh, yes. And we also have Eleven, says, uh, PB, what up? What up, son? Do work. Do work. Ah, what up, kid? Yeah. Do work. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, so uh, with that, let's just get into the first song. This group goes by the name of Johnny Outlaw. They do acoustic retro ro- uh, retro rock out of the cornfields in Iowa. <laughs> okay. Johnny Outlaw started as a songwriting team consisting called? of John. Hey, what's it called again? What the fuck? And what, what's what R- called? Rec- acoustic re- what? Out- acoustic retro rock. Sorry, that was kind of hard for me to say. It was hard for me to hear. I don't even know what <laughs> 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 the song is. Not even your fault. <laughs> 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 uh, Johnny Outlaw started as a songwriting team consisting of John and Jenny Doyle, a married couple out of Clinton, Iowa. Their brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's time time to <laughs> <laughs> it does. The duo found themselves uh, found Sorry. themselves transitioning from uh, from Johnny Outlaw, the songwriting team, to Johnny Outlaw, the band. Both members nice. play guitar, sing, write, and record their own songs. They write separately as well as together. Nice, cool. And the fir- uh, and the name of this song <clears throat> is uh, "15 Miles to the River," and this is uh, Johnny Outlaw. Wow. Good. Wow. <laughs> to the river uh, Johnny Outlaw and if you want to check out more of their stuff uh, you can download Johnny, Johnny Outlaw's first three CDs for free at nice. johnnyoutlaw.bandcamp.com you can also be found at myspace.com slash johnnyoutlawrocks <clears throat> and you can also look them up under Johnny Outlaw on Facebook alright let's do it alright oh go ahead um, yeah you definitely have a retro feel to your song um I, I like the guy's voice, the way he sang it. Really? I, yeah, it, it, it just, hmm. it reminded me of stuff that Robert Ro- Robert Rodriguez puts in his films. It, and that's, okay, that's, I, I kind of see that. Yeah, yeah, kinda. so it, like, I, that's why I kind of dug it. Um, but the recording, honestly, on this song was was horrible. Was horrible. Yeah. Um, I thought the lyrics were just okay, but it's it's a retro song. They don't have to be all nice. 
But right. I, I definitely got a nice overall feel to it. All right. Um, I think I could tell by Jekyll's face. I'm, we're probably going to disagree, but I like this song. Um, I did, it sounded like a fucking sensual Nirvana at the beginning. Like, I didn't need the oohs and ahs. Like, for me, that really didn't do anything for the song, mm-hmm. and I, I, it annoyed the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. time to be sensual, and it's time to let the man do the man singing. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, have, I have written down, take the chain gang girl out of the song. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need her. <laughs> yes, I, I, I a thousand percent agree. And the lyrics, I thought they were cool, actually. Um, and I liked his uh, talk singing voice. He wasn't singing. But he was keeping some kind of pace and some kind of – he was doing more than talking but not quite singing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what? For this song, I thought it sounded really good. Um, and the guitar was, uh, you know, pretty simple, but still it didn't really need much. I thought I thought it sounded pretty good. And, yeah, like you guys said, the recording is, is – um, I guess you could say subpar. But uh, I just put here that it was – it's an old date. Like it's almost like, like they want you to think that they made it like in the 60s or something. <laughs> and you hear, you know what I mean? Like – um, I know there's some groups that we, we, we've heard that, that do that, that want that old yeah. recording sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was able to – well, I didn't have a big issue with it. At first it annoyed the shit out of me, but then I got used to it. And it actually – I just focused on him and uh, his singing or whatever he was doing, and I enjoyed it actually. You know what I mean? So I really didn't mind. I, I mean I'm sure like all of you, I heard it. I heard the way it sounded, mm-hmm. you know, the, the copy that we got or whatever, but that's what they wanted to do. So I really didn't mind it, to be honest with you. As long as I can hear everything clearly, which I did, yeah, I don't have a big issue with it. So, Jekylls? Okay. A um, few things that I'm going to agree with, a few things I'm not going to agree with. Uh, one, I, I didn't really like the singer's voice. Um, you guys already mentioned the well, recording. you him a singer. He's not a singer. Well, whatever. <laughs> the talker's <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys already mentioned the recording. We mentioned the chain gang girl. Uh, lyrically, I thought it was also decent. Um, the... Guitar progression was okay, but there were no changes in it, and that kind of bored me. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. looking for some kind of change yeah, up yeah, somewhere. And way. I'm going to argue the point about the recording and the dated recording sound because the Temptations recorded in the 60s, and you go back and listen to their stuff, and their stuff is clean. Exactly. Very, very clean. So you can have quality recording back then. So whether you're trying to do a dated sound or not, just the recording was horrible. I don't know. I I. I, I you're right, but I don't know. Um, like I've heard, like even like I've heard Jimi Hendrix stuff where it sounds like not muffled, but it's on the verge of being muffled. I've heard older stuff yeah. that does yeah. sound like this. But those so, were effects so that were added yeah, to make it sound like exactly that. like they did. They, they didn't add the exactly. effects. Right here, right here. They I, didn't. I, Jekyll's, I, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. That old school Alton Ellis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That old school reggae stuff. Yeah, that, that was crappy recording, but that's those true. songs were, I'm j- were tough. I'm just but saying, don't, don't, don't you know? say okay, that okay, every so recording was well, always then, bomb back then. then I guess, really I guess that. what happened here then for me is the song wasn't tight enough to be able to complement the crappy recording. Okay. That's fair. That's that's fair. fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I agree. Louis? Uh, Quentin Tarantino would not use this. So he might. If, if he might. He for, might. It, it didn't sound it's original not as, under that. No, no, it, it just didn't. sound like something I heard before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm, I'm into a lot of his stuff. It, it just didn't sound good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, close, I do respect exactly what he did, and I know what he was going for, but it sounded like he tried to replicate someone else. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Yeah. Uh, China? All right, the chat room saying, uh, well, Zane, Zane says he likes it. Uh, it felt like some zombie, uh, like 1,000 corpses. Oh yeah, nice. that's true. Yeah. He said the recording was crap, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, and I watch your much mouth, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pretty much a, a Keep it real, Zane. Pretty, pretty, pretty much with all you, with what all you guys said. Nice. All right, PB. Oh man, I I want to go with Jekyll's on the uh, progression part because yeah, the recording was low, but I think he could have did a little bit more with the hook because basically the verse, like his rap, was not bad, but yeah. The hook and the verse sounded like the same. It was almost like if no. You I, really I, I agree with you this, guys. Yeah, true. if you weren't paying attention to the song, it you could run together. Even know where they w- where the hook ended or the verse started, you know. So it was kind of gay on that part. It was kind of gay. <laughs> 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 and, 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 mm-hmm. and as far as recording, all, I don't think the recording was horrible. It was bad, but I think he just needed to turn his vocals up. Like you could barely hear what he was saying. Maybe you do have shitty um, headphones on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. I got the shady stuff over here. There we go. <laughs> but overall, the song wasn't that bad. I could see a market for it, but it wasn't great. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, PB, what would you have uh, voted as? How does your rating system go again? I wasn't. He for, a while we forgot. Uh, no, that, you know what? 
I should I should have went to oh no big deal. It's yeah. uh never listen to again. Never. Uh, I I let it play on the radio, radio if it came on, or I would LimeWire, or I would iTunes it, give them you know two bucks for it, or I would buy the whole album off that one song. I would uh let it play on the radio. Fair enough. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go get it off. Where they're giving it out free, so I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna lime it. Lime it. Yeah. That was a long answer. Lime wire. Yeah. I had to shorter. Just threw me <laughs> off right. guard. <laughs> oh. I mean. <laughs> oh, boy, are you awesome. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jekleo. Uh, I didn't hate it, so if it was on the radio, I wouldn't change the station. That's fair. Louie? I would play it. Go ahead, man. Sell it. Hey, there's a market for everything. So you lime it or you? No, he radio. I'll lime it. I'll lime, lime it. it. No, what? I'll lime it. Very fair. I'll, I'll get it. You know, That's if I hear nice. it, I'll get it. That's Have nice. sex to it. Yeah, he's all, I will definitely live it. Yeah. Yeah. Tidy. All right, the chat room saying radio, and uh, I say live more. Right. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be LimeWire, pretty much. <laughs> well, that's the show. Gave him. You I didn't hear you. I didn't hear your rating. That's why I was waiting for you. On. Yeah, I gave my rating after he did. Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> All right, so uh, your rating's going to be LimeWireable, or people can download your song illegally. Not so uh, not bad at all. Not Good bad, way to start kid. off the show, I guess. And a better way to continue is with a little bit of J.J. Diesel's Jibba Jabba. Jibba Jabba. Yeah. Hit that theme music, Tiny. Wow. <laughs> that was hot. I, I hit it like... Okay. That shit makes me feel sexy every time. I can PB. fucking do this. It does. <laughs> <laughs> they did in the 70s. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I should have been born in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking with no condoms? Yeah. Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> I know. <laughs> would have been a good. Yeah, we should have been born in the 60s. <laughs> exactly. We would have had a great time. Well, we'd have all been dead by now because <laughs> we would have had lumps and fucking yeah. pus hanging off our dick by now. Wow. So maybe it's good. It's good we weren't. <laughs> uh, the first thing is I know we've. Uh, well, me and O have talked about this. Uh, I'm in this uh, Lady Gaga phase. <laughs> He is. I am. It's like, <laughs> I never used to care about her, right? She's a man. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> She's disgusting. We actually, uh, we I, to- it, yeah. I told them, I go, you guys need to look up Google Lady Gaga without makeup. Yeah. Oh, and that she, picture is horrible. You can actually pull yeah. it off as, oh, that's a brother. That's like, oh, that's my brother. Or, that's his brother. And, <laughs> uh, and it, 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 yeah. seriously, it's, it's awful. And hey, maybe you guys know this. Can anybody clear this up for me? Did she used to be a stripper? I, I have no rumor. idea. I have, no, I have no idea what she used to be. Yeah. Whether she used to be a man, whether she used to be a stripper, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. You're not kidding. But the thing that but I. She's a time musician. I'm going to no, leave it she, at that. She she's is. a tight artist. You she's know what I love? I is. love her videos. Yeah. Because she, she gets yeah. down yeah, she and she does. don't do them little faggot ass, like, little, oh, like Britney Spears moves. Like, she gets, she feels it and I love it. Like, I, I absolutely love it. So, I like Lady yeah, Gaga. The, the chat, the chat room saying that she used to be a burlesque dancer. Oh. She, she, she oh, seems okay. burlesque. Thank you, chat room, PB. Yes. Nice. So, um, but the thing is, is I know we talked about how, um, we said that she's not hot because she's disgusting. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and then other people, no, yeah, she's got a good body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll say this. Yeah. 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 I give her the D. You'd wax that ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but here, here's the thing, though, is I was, and because uh, I think O was telling me, he's like, no, they're like, there's actually people that think that she like is hot on like her yeah. face. They're like, no, they think that Oliver's hot. And I was watching the on the on demand the Just Dance video, and mm. you know what? Yeah. With the right makeup, <laughs> she's actually she's actually pretty presentable. Yeah. To be honest she's, with you, she's not horrible looking with makeup on. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. But some, is some, she as fine as people paint her out to be? I don't yeah. think so. No. She was, if she was not in the public light and popular, no one would think she was fine. So if we no. had a rating system, we'd give her a Coyote Ugly? Cool with makeup. Yeah. Makeup next day, like, oh, shit, what happened? <laughs> Nibble your arm <laughs> off. Not yes. your arm off. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Ugly. That's, that, if yes. you woke up to that face, it's over, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, you kill impudent yourself. for life. You kill yeah, yourself. seriously, like, no more boners for a year. It's like anti Viagra. Oh. Yeah, that shit. I know. Yeah. They should just have her on those fucking, like, Viagra commercials and shit. No, they should have her on the abstinence commercials. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, uh. That's a PSA right before there. Before and after, before and after. Oh, she looks like. Uh, Do you really want to wake up with this? Yeah. Oh. Don't drink. 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. So, anyway, I just uh, I was also uh, in Vegas last week for work, and I would have said it last sure. show, but I was running the show. That's right. Yes, wow. that's right. No big wow, deal. Wow, wow. They, they taught me how to um, do the Run wonderful the job that he's doing. They, they uh, taught me how to do it, so I did it last show. Wow. For, for the, the first time. did a wonderful job. It was, yeah. I felt wonderful fantastic. Job. You feel, when you're back there, and you're looking like. You feel like you run things, huh? Yeah. Like a boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You feel like the boss hog. You're back there like. I could meet you anytime I want in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah, that. You know that. But <laughs> yes. I thought, I'm like, say something. Yeah, say so something. Everybody knows what we're you, there you for. Always, so you always got to the point. Buddy, kid. buddy. Yeah, it was good. I almost wanted to mute somebody, yes, but, just to, but just to do it because I could. So that's how. <laughs> but Joe wasn't here. Yeah. Oh, dummy. Joe was here. It would have been good. Yeah, I would have muted that dumbass. But, uh, and then, uh, so anyway, I'm in this hotel, right? It's pretty nice. It's called uh, the South Point, and it's in Vegas. It's pretty dang nice. During the week, it's like sixty-eight bucks, and it's like better than an MGM Grand Hotel, like whoa, a room, whoa, regular no room. Yeah, it's got a flat screen TV. It's got like a little table <laughs> and a little love seat. Like, it's it's a uh, it's loaded up. Nice. And uh, the one thing that I don't like is that all the hotels. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna sound like a dirty wetback right now, but I'm I'm not. Um, I went up there for work, so I got no. He du- washed. I got dusty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got dusty. I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I I. Uh, I get dirty on my job, you know what I'm saying? So I don't like using white washcloths because it makes me, like, it shows how dirty you are. Like, right. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, when was the last time I took a fucking shower? But <laughs> I, I'm working hard, so that's okay to do. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then we check this out. I don't, if You guys, you guys got to check this out. Uh, the Hilton Buffet, $17.99, and it includes all the Miller Light you can drink. Oh, wow. okay. that's nice. It, wow. co- it comes with beer. So that's pretty that's cool. Pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic that it comes with beer. And then, but when I was in line... I don't know. This is I don't like this. Uh, this guy asked me. I don't even know this guy. He was like, um, "Hey, uh, do you think I can use your phone?" And I was like, "What?" And I was like, "What the fuck?" You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I don't. That that's just grub. I don't know. He's like, "Well, I'm waiting for someone." I go, but he already seen me take it out. So I, I was just like, "Yeah, you know what? I don't really feel comfortable with that." Like I didn't know what else to say. I wanted to make up some excuse, but I was like, "I'm just creeped out by you." You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I, I don't feel comfortable with doing that. I mean, I don't know if you guys think. I, what if they have ear no. mites? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if they got some? I don't know. What? Like, ear mites? <laughs> <laughs> that's for dogs, huh? Little bugs. You never know. I don't know. I, I, I just think that that's disgusting. Who are you next to? Yeah. Ear mites. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, but this guy was rocking, like, a button up shirt open with his, like, fucking. Taco, taco meat, meat. out. Taco just meat. chilling out. <laughs> if he would have had a medallion, I would have let him borrow my phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know what? It's funny, but I had something similar happen to me last night. I had to go pick up uh, Breeze last night from yeah. one of her classes, but it was over in um, Santa Ana in like, this muni- municipal area, right? So you have to get a toll thing or whatever to get in. So I read the sign to get in. And it said a buck twenty-five per half hour. If under a half hour, we will charge you so much for the minutes or yeah. whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, I got some change in my coin thing. I'm cool. Pick her up. I'd probably been there about 15 minutes. Pull up to leave. And then there's like 250. And I said, what? <coughs> it says 120. 250. I'm like, well, I have no cash on me. I've only got my card and this little bit of change. Yeah. She's like, okay, well, you have to make everybody behind you back up. <laughs> and you're going to have to park. I'm not lying, dude. Took like 15, 20 minutes to have everybody that was what? there back up. So I could go park. Then I had to run a mini marathon in Santa Ana to um, a 7-Eleven, which is about five, six blocks down. Yeah. So as I'm running, I'm trying to find the place. <laughs> and this... Uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, this, wow. this, this Cholo guy is running up the other way. And I say, hey, hey, do you know where 7-Eleven is? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, down there. He's like, man, hey, you got a phone I can use? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm what? on the phone. I'm running on the phone talking to Breeze as I'm running. Nope, right? I sure don't. <laughs> I said, actually, buddy, I'm using it. And I just kept <laughs> running. Hey, you know what you should have done? You should have bought, you should have bought like a can of soda and just to throw at that stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bought, I would have bought something to throw oh, at the, her. the lady? Yeah. No, here's the worst part. Buy a hot dog so, and throw like mustard and relish and onions so on it and throw it at her. So about 20 minutes later, I finally make it back, right? She's all... Twenty five dollars. No, no, no. There's Less. nobody. There's nobody in the spot. No one's in the spot, right? She's getting ready to walk out of her toll booth. I'm like, no, I hop in my car, honk my horn, I'm gonna get back in there. I what? pulled up, I hand her my ticket, and she looks at me and she says, This isn't your ticket. I'm like, What? Is this a different ticket than the one you gave me before? I'm like, No, it's the same ticket. She's like, Okay, three seventy five. 
And I'm like, you told me 250. She's like, it says here 375. I'm like, you know what? Fine. I was tired. We what bounced. The? But I'm just like, if you got a wow. sign, That's put the sign accurately so people have the correct change. There was two other people besides me that had to back out of there that I really? saw after we backed out. Well, that's pretty it was, stupid. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Ugh. It's okay, but it's you funny that s- random s- people yeah. will ask to use your phone. I would never ask. Like, it would have <laughs> to be <laughs> like. I wouldn't even ask to use your phone. Yeah. And I know you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, that would still be creepy, though. I don't know why. Because <laughs> well, people have, like, grease and oil on their face. and Oh, that's it, gross. And ear mites. An ear might shut up. Ear <laughs> hey, so anyway, so check this out. I saw this guy, and I think he was a Neil Diamond impersonator. Oh, <laughs> but but then awesome. I, but then I get to thinking, I'm like, what if he's not? It's still like awesome. what if like Jason that's how he dresses? Because he wasn't. He was just roaming around. He wasn't on a show. He had like a, a fur coat on and like like big like glasses and like the the hair. And I was like, oh, that's tight, Neil Diamond. And then my friend was like, yeah, Neil. Is that Neil Diamond? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, right. I'm like. Is that just how he dresses? And I was like, I think he's an impersonator. But then afterwards, we actually saw a real Elvis impersonator in street clothes. <laughs> I've never seen a, a impersonator like in street clothes, and he looked like Elvis. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm waiting for my car with Elvis. Like, he just in regular clothes. But I heard him talking like, oh yeah, like trying to like like uh, promote a show, like telling people like, oh hey, like talking to some girls like, oh I got a show down here, this and that, you know. But I was like, that's cool when you're dressed like Elvis, but to fucking look like that. <laughs> When you're like in jeans and a fucking button up yeah, yeah, shirt. You, you're doing it, too much. It just looks a bit ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I heard this today and this is fantastic. Um, I was at one of my stores and there was like this uh, construction worker dude. He was like, I was going to the bathroom and I guess he was uh, he was in front of me like probably, I don't know, like 20 feet. And he's kind of like h- kind of hustling. And I'm like, okay, he's got to go. No big deal. So I go in after and he says loud, like loudly so I can hear He's like, oh, just shit my pants real no. cute. And I was like, wait, did you really shit your pants? <laughs> and I was like, and then he kept talking like to get a response from me. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, and I, cause I'm like, that's so easy to make so many jokes off of. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make him feel weird and not say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pissing and he was hey, talking hey, hey. and I'm and like, every once in a while I go like this. <laughs> no, I, I didn't say, I didn't say nothing cause I wanted him to feel like awkward. Like, okay, I just told this guy to shit my pants, and now I'm trying to make a joke of it, and he's not responding. So I must be a complete creep. So I ignored him just to make him feel awkward. <laughs> and then I I saw this, too. I, whenever, or I guess whenever I see an older white guy with a younger Asian lady, I always think male order bride. <laughs> mm. That's true, though, right? Am I wrong? Could be. You could every, be. Every time I see that, I'm like, I know he, he has bought money. her. He has money. Yeah. Like, I always think male, male order bride, and I think I'm... I think I'm onto something. Um, I'm just, I notice people. I'm smart. I'm smart. I don't want to brag, but I'm awesome. And uh, and then, uh, oh, I don't know if you guys, this sucks. I, tomorrow, you know what I have to do tomorrow? Uh, I showed uh, I showed PB my lawn. Remember like a long time ago, and I'm, I'm sure you guys have noticed it, I said uh, the nice game I like to play about letting my dog shit for like three months straight and not cutting my grass. I have to do that tomorrow. But it's above like the six foot wall, yeah. my grass and my weeds are. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna sell my house and not even do. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on, I'm like I'd rather like I want to tell Coco like can we just sell the house so we don't have to do the lawn like just get another house that doesn't have any lawn. I'll but just go to Home Depot and pick up. Yeah. A yeah. Pick up an amigo. Go pick up an amigo. Oh, I know. I'll go pick up little Joe. Joe. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Twenty bucks. He'll cut it. Yeah, He'll yeah. cut it and get it nice. And then the last thing is a uh, night crowd actually. It's a message to Tiny and O. Uh, he heard uh, – basically what he said is, uh, why the fuck is Goat on the promos and not me? <laughs> That's a good question. That Sorry. is a good question. Because when he, when he went on the site and he was like – he was like, the first thing I heard was Goat's promo. He's on. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's all, didn't he get fired? He's all, how am I not on the promos? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I, it, and I just put it off on you guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I was like, I'm not a producer. I don't, I don't make those decisions. Yeah, <laughs> just, just tell him next time he comes in, we'll cut his. Hey, yeah, yeah, seriously, dude, he, I, I didn't even bring it up. It wasn't like we're at the same time at the computer and he oh, heard man, it. It was, he just brought it up. Oh, I have a question. I was like, oh, boy, here it comes. So <laughs> um, so it doesn't get all, you know, sad and hurt or whatever. You know, we got to okay. cut a promo with him. Okay. So he's on yeah. it. And he's like, I'll hurt good if I have to. Like, he, he was very... He was really upset about that. 
Okay. And he's like, I've that done more. Yeah, that means he cares. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's a good sign. Yes. But uh, that's pretty much it. And thanks for listening. And thank you, oh. Diesel, for your jibber jabber. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like love. <laughs> At first sight. It can't be. He's my brother. He's, He's my little brother. Little It'd be brother. incest. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did you say that? Just playing. That's All right, Tiny, let's go ahead and get into some more music. I'm going to disown yeah. you on Mari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mari. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> All right. The this results are he's not actually your brother. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this next group uh, goes by the name of Zephyr Riot. They know. do alternative slash progressive rock out of Orange County, California. Oh, oh Juice County. Oh, uh, we formed last April when we met our bass player at UC Irvine. Two of our members currently attend UC Irvine, while the third attends UC San Diego. Our major influences are not necessarily limited to music because we formulate ideas sometimes based on paintings, <laughs> movies, novels, and other forms of art. Nice. Wow. Some of our major influences musically are oh, Alice wild. in Chains, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Rush, The Doors, and David Bowie, while our oh, other artsy influences are Salvador Dali and Tim Burton. Eh. Tim Burton's tight. We are currently working like in the studio movie, with Shane Jude on our album, Come Along Tom, and we expect it, uh, to release it sometime next year. Nice. All right, and so the name of this song is called Mind Sight. Uh, Mind Sight. Mind Sight. Just in case you want to write that down. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. You know uh, and this is Zephyr Riot. Here we go. Another one? <laughs> wow. No, it's not them. <laughs> Site by Zephyr Riot. If you want to check out more of their music, you can uh, check them out on myspace.com slash Zephyr Riot, uh, facebook.com slash Zephyr Riot, and follow them on twitter.com slash Zephyr Riot, and that's spelled Z E P H Y R R I O T. If you want to check them out live, they're playing April 14th, Battle of the Bands at the Price Center, UCSD uh, at 1 p.m. All right, let's do it. Go ahead, Tiny. Yeah. Uh, it's a toughie. Yeah, this one's tough. This one's tough because I th- I thought the style elements uh, were definitely there. 
Um, I didn't like uh, the in, the engineering of the song though, no, and no. I and I wasn't I wasn't necessarily sold on the lead singer, um, and and I'm not too sure why, I'm not too sure why the lead singer won, because uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know. I'll tell you why I have a theory on that, but oh yeah, yeah I'm really good um, smart. Let's see. Yeah, so I, I, guess, I guess what what I can say is just maybe uh, you know uh, get get better uh, get a better mix and I don't know. I actually I shouldn't even critique on the mix because I'm wearing an ATA, so <laughs> I, I, I think I think I'm just gonna leave it. I did leave it at that and let you guys. It's all right. It. All right, Louis. Um, uh, I actually love the uh, the, the actual music is actually good. Um, the, the guitar playing and everything is actually was very smooth. Uh, the lead singer is very crappy. Uh, your lyrics are very crappy. I, I didn't. If you're selling it, I'm not buying that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so work on that. But I love your band and keep doing what you're doing from there, and then start building your blocks from there. Very good, Jekylls. Okay, I have a question for you guys. How old are you guys actually? I mean, you say you're in college, but this sounds like something my dad's friends would play. Like, it just sounded really dated, really old, really slow, really boring. And I know this is probably one of the least technical critiques I've ever given, but it just... No, how you feel is how you feel. It, it just didn't interest me at all. Um, the only cool part about the entire song was the bridge, when the guitar, uh, lead guitar started doing his solo. That was okay. And it showed me that you guys can do maybe a... More, that was the younger, bridge. hipper sound. I guess is yeah. the word. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I agree uh, with Tiny. I didn't like the lead singer, but I also didn't like the uh, background vocalist either. I, I thought all the vocals were horrible, engineering bad. This is a garage band that should really never leave the garage. <laughs> I agree. <Yeah>. Well, um, <laughs> when I first, I mean. <laughs> You definitely hear the Alice in Chains influence. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. True. It's, it's almost, that's why I, I really don't agree with you that something your dad would listen I to. Think, it's something we're listening to well, in the here, 90s. Here's is the thing. What this I, was. Think yes. they, I think they can play, but I think they need to find a better sound for them. I think this sound is just way too well, dated for them. My question is, well, like, for me, for like, me, it just sounded like way too dated. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, that's fine. But to me, it just reminded me of high school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Early 90s. Because this is how Alice in Chains sounds. Just yeah, like this. I wouldn't have listened to this in high school either. Because you don't like Alice in Chains. Yeah. yeah. And you weren't cool. <laughs> and uh, I, it, it just it just seemed like a <laughs> sorry I didn't I didn't wear my makeup back then. You wear it now though. No, <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. I've never yeah, worn makeup. You should know that he was wearing cross colors back then. Oh, that's right. I <laughs> <laughs> wore cross colors. Yeah. Hey, I used to wear cross colors. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with cross colors. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, I just uh, my question for them is like, are you guys a cover band, but with your own songs for like Alice in Chains? Seriously, and I, I agree with Louis. I, I like the music. Uh, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't real wild, but there were change ups, and then we got the guitar solo, so that was that was very nice. And uh, it the song just like you guys said did not grab me. The song yeah. did not grab me, and I wasn't like oh shit, I want to hear what else they got. That never crossed my mind. And the reason why it also to me this for me anyway why the voice even sounded more like shit is because I'm like I'll just hear the real Els and Chains, where their singer is actually good. There you go. You know what I mean? That's what that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. this reminds me so much of Alice in Chains. Why don't I just put an Alice in Chains album on? Exactly. Or put my iPod and put <laughs> and go to Alice in Chains when I can hear the real in change. <laughs> <laughs> Alice in Change. But when I can hear the because th this is like <laughs> almost like such funny. a bite off of Alice in Chains. Like that's what that's all I heard in these guys. Um, but that's why, like I said, the voice sucked to me because they're like a you know a minor league version of them, and so. Get your own sound, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ditto what you just said. Pretty much, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right so, on. Right on. PB. I would say uh, I'm gonna agree with Jekyll. The song sounded dated, but I'm gonna disagree with all you guys. I like the song. I like the way it progressed. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Cool. Yeah. But uh, the lead singer, yeah, the little. Sing I, I I could see the potential for the song if they had another singer. I would say you should stick to songwriting, maybe. There you go. So, because I mean, the song wasn't overall that bad. You, you played with your voice a little bit, but your voice just wasn't there as far as the lead singer. Right. Like, like we, my boy Diesel said over yeah. here. I just wanted to hear Alice in Chains. I mean, stick to writing. The song was good, but 
your lead singer was not, and you played with your voice, the song progressed the right way, and I liked it. Yeah. And there you go, and that's why we have a panel of people with different opinions so yes. that you can kind of get it from all sides. I mean, there, yeah. there's a good chance this is going to grab somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There, there's a there's, there's a definite chance of that, but I think Alice in Chains should hire them because then it makes you want to hear them. <laughs> if I was Alice in Chains, I would hire them to fucking, like, I would just put their shit out all everywhere, and my album sales would go through the roof because that's all you want to hear is after this shit. Uh, Tane. Well. Uh, let's see. I, d- I dug the bass player. Uh, I'll listen to it on radio. Radio. Very good. All right. Uh, Louis? What's your up? Vote? Your vote. He said, what's up? What's up? Hey. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Alice in Chains? <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, this vote. isn't on Alice in Chains. This is on this fake. I don't like none of your words. Burn it. <laughs> yeah. Burn it. That's a no go, I That's think. <laughs> All right, there it goes. E- even with as badly as I critiqued it, I think it's still, if it was on the radio, I wouldn't change the station. It's radio worthy. Yeah, you know what? Um, I was going to say never listen to it again, but I would let it play on the radio because I'd be so interested in, like, where's this going? Like, is this. Well, I would think it was Alice in Chains. So <laughs> I've no, never heard this song I would, before. Yeah, I'm, I didn't know they made this song. I would, so I, I would listen to it. So, uh, radio. Oh? Yeah, radio. All right. PB. PB, uh, I would Quiet. say I want to work with you guys. I, I should be your lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's beat all nice. <laughs> Trying to get another fucking gig. This guy. I'll line wire it. I'll line wire it. Very no. nice. Very the chat nice. room saying radio. All right. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, there it is. Radio. It should be no surprise. It's pretty much almost all the way around yeah. the room. Uh, so uh, if you guys are on the radio, we the station. Congrats to you guys. And uh, good luck with uh, what you're trying to do. All right. Can we hear another song, Tiny? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Awesome. Nice. Uh, this group is called On The Line. They do rock music out of San Diego. Our goal is to create a sound that the world can vibe to. We play anything and everything. Call it experimental if you will, even well, though most bands stick to good. one sound, we like to play all of our favorite music yeah, genres. Rock, reggae, hip-hop, ska, punk. What more could you want? Mm. Trust me, we got a song that you will like. Trust. Our main goal wow. is your and our pleasure. Wow. Come to a show if you want to dance, slam, jam, or just move to the groove. Rock and roll. See you at the next show. I don't like okay. it already. <laughs> yeah, I never... Cause we, 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 you know what? You know what? But we've had experimental groups... On here that have been tight, yes. so I'm actually looking forward but, to this. I hey, like the influence. But you gotta yeah, do, but he's you got to do you at all costs. You can't be no people pleaser. Black Sky, we we do our music, and you know, hopefully, people like it. You know. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, this song is called "Resting Place," and this group is on the line. Wow. <laughs> okay. That was, that's, I think we need diesel back there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'll take it. Between boredom and paradise 
Cow's Resting Place by On The Line. If you want to get in contact with uh, with them for anything, you can email Carlson at chmiller at ucsd.edu if you want to check out more of their music. MySpace.com slash 619 on the line. Um, if you want to check them out live, you can check them out April 2nd, uh, Friday, 9 p.m., opening for Jet West at 710 Beach Club. April 9th, Friday, 6 p.m. at the Epicenter. And May 15th, Saturday, 9 p.m. at Dream Street. All right, let's do it. Since Jekyll's has a super boner, I'm going to let him go first. Yeah. Well, no, it, it's funny because uh, always busting up. I don't know if you guys heard that because the song is started. And as soon as it first started, I started writing thank you. I was going to write thank you. Finally, yeah. a group that I – and then as it continued, I crossed out the thank <laughs> you. And I, didn't finish, I didn't finish out the line. Because at first I was listening to the song and I'm like, look, I like this style of music. Yeah. I like that type of music. I listen to groups like that. And it just seemed like it was cool, but I've heard it done before and I've heard it done way better yeah. is what okay. I was thinking. Okay. But then when it transitioned and it got hard, like the quality of their sound all of a sudden just improved. Yeah, the yeah. lead singer sounded sounding better over that type of style mm-hmm. of yeah. music. Yeah. It's like the entire song just altered and got great. And I loved it. Should have been yeah. like that the whole time. Huh? It yes. should have been like that the whole yes. time. It just sounded like the other part was very weak. Not so much the style of music, because I know it's a lower, softer type of style of music. But the quality of it was yeah. a lot lower than the level that it was at when it transitioned. <clears throat> and it just seemed like they sound better when they play hard. I just think it was yeah. weak. Yeah. I, I think their quality yeah. was still good at the beginning. I just think it just didn't rock hard. It was just very... No, because to me, I didn't like... I didn't really care for the lead singer's voice until after. Yeah. Yeah, oh, exactly. I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you, you know, on that. I yeah. think everything just changed, and I think that's the sound you guys need to focus on because that's what you guys pull off well, and it sounds legit. And it sounds like you guys are trying to do the ska, trying to do the reggae rock, Yeah, but exactly. you guys can exactly. play hard and sound good playing hard. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what I liked about this group, and I hope they do more of that because if it would have been like that the entire way, I would have loved this song the whole yeah. way through. You, well, um, I, I think well, – I don't know. I, I'm 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 with you and against you at the same time. That's, you know what I mean? Fine. Like it's like I, I what you're saying is absolutely right. When uh, once they started like once you start because honestly when I first started when I first heard the singer I was like this motherfucker can't even sing like that's why he's playing it safe. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Right. When I do karaoke songs, I do songs that fit my voice. I ain't a real singer. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I don't sing like Aaron <laughs> Neville shit. I sing. Look at this. I know. I, I know. I know. Tiny can do Aaron, Aaron Neville. Neville. <laughs> Aaron Neville. Hey, ask, ask him for yeah. his impression of Aaron Neville. It's really good. Come on, come on, <laughs> come, come on. on. He's busy in the chat room. Oh, he's is he getting his up. chat yeah, on? Yeah, he's yeah. getting his chat yeah. on. Well, um, so it's like I thought that's what he was doing, and then he got, you know, I'm saying like he busted it out and showed some nuts and really started singing, and I, that was fantastic. But then I started thinking, I'm like, I'm wondering if the reason why I loved it so much is because he gave me such a little faggot, mellow, uh, ma- like mellow sound <laughs> that I appreciated it more. Mm, I don't know. Well, mm. for me, I think if I if I, I eat steak I every if thing. I eat steak every day or if I eat steak once a month, when I get it that once a month, I'm gonna love it. So if, if this is if if they give you a little something like uh uh and then bang come in with it hard, I I, th- I think that's not really that bad of a scheme, as long as you can play good enough at the beginning to still hold their interest. And then give them like a nice boom, a nice treat halfway through. I think it can still be a good song. You know what I'm saying? So th- that's really what it was for me. I- if I would have heard this, I still would have been hanging on. Like you know what? The, like because I I didn't mind the musicianship at all. Like I like even the first half of it. I thought it was okay. Like I said, it, it reminded me of like the the very beginning reminded me of Real Big Fish, but then it stopped sounding like them. But the 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 intro, like the first like few uh, notes or chords, or whatever, it start, it's kind of sound like that to me. Um, and uh, the drummer was very busy. The drummer did a great job. Um, and but yeah, it, it, obviously I liked the second half of the song more than the first half. But I thought as a total song, I, I still think it was pretty good because he proved to me that he could sing. So now I don't mind that first. Maybe I was thinking in the first half, you're just doing this because you can't sing. But if I know you can sing and this is just part of your song, that's something different See, to me. But that's the difference. Like, you listen to a real big fish song, that guy can sing the entire way through. I'm talking, I'm talking he's about he's the notes that were played, the very, be- the ve- like the uh-huh. intro of the song. I'm talking, about, I'm talking right. before the guy even came in. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? No, no, this guy didn't sound like the guy from Real Big Fish, can, you're right, can actually sing. Yeah, he's, but, he's tough. But um, this guy, he they're not real big fish, but this guy can actually sing too. So yeah. um, I, thought he, I thought they did a good job and. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe you should play harder like that, or maybe you should just 
spring i don't know i really don't fucking know but i thought the song <laughs> in general i thought the song was cool though i really didn't mind the song to be honest with you and there was enough good stuff in here for me that yeah. i enjoyed the song yeah, exactly so oh yeah um overall the whole song was it, it was it was cool it was cool um but the at the beginning when you guys say the beginning i the lead singer didn't it didn't feel like it complimented the song like right the, the band it didn't, didn't play at all but it just didn't fit for for me and maybe right. probably Jekyll's. Yeah. yeah but as soon as they went into the harder sound in the second half man it was it was it was all good it was all gravy magic it was magic it was pretty magical <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll say that yeah so what i say is stick to the harder stuff that's 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 where you really 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 sound good yeah and and your lyrics are cool man for reals yeah so like you you got it you you pretty much got it yeah yeah, yeah. so that's where i'm at all right pb nice. you know what uh what's the name of this band the uh, on, the on, line. The line. on the line on the line on the line uh i hope you on the line i hope you appreciate uh my critique right now because coming from a place where i was kind of hating in the beginning if you heard my comments <laughs> yeah, hey man. you know you, what you to turn me around i really it happened, I really it happened like to everybody this. yeah it happened to most of them i really like the song i only reason i was hating in the beginning was because i'm a real s- strong believer of you got to do you at all costs you, like your blog just threw me like, oh, we got a song for every. Nah, you know what? You don't do songs for everybody. You do songs for you, and your fans will be real fans that like your music. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, only only thing that I can say is in the beginning, it just sounded like everybody else only because I don't think they started with a hook. And like, no. right when mm-hmm. you, it's just like writing an essay. You got to start with a thesis statement, something that grabs somebody. That's why a lot of people start with the hook because the hook is always like the sh- the part of the song that people are gonna sing. The song progressed nicely and it really grabbed me and I really liked it. So uh, I'm a fan. I, I really I, am. I like it. Yeah, I definitely. I I, I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm wondering um, when the when the hook came in though. Was it after? Was it when he started getting all rough and wild? Or was there a hook where he was still singing like a girl? I'm trying to remember because if, if if the hook was when it was all rough and wild, that might may be why they didn't play the hook at the beginning because it wouldn't have went with the song, with yeah. what mm-hmm. they wanted to do at the beginning. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I can see that. So I just I just don't remember though. Yeah, that's the you thing. Know, I, don't, I can't even. Say oh, like I like I remember. That's why they did it. That's why they did it. I can't even say I recall <laughs> where the hook actually was. I got so lost in the song. I really it progressed really nicely. It started mellow, and it was a like like Diesel said. It was enough to keep me on. And the way it progressed was like, we all kind of looked at each other. You guys can't see live what's going on, but when that song got hard, we all kind of looked at each other like, what the fuck? I even wrote on the paper, I like it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) My critique, I like it. it. Go ahead, Tiny. (laughs) I like it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Yeah, I thought thought the song was cool. I dug the progression. I dug the way it started. Uh, because it started off with a with high energy, you know that you know that fast ska stuff. Yeah, and you know it's cool. And then it, you know went to that reggae rock like Jekyll was talking about, and then and then it just exploded with yeah. that. I don't even know what that was. With awesomeness, yeah. awesomeness, yeah, pure heat. It exploded with awesomeness. And so musical <laughs> orgasm. Yeah, there you go. definitely, <laughs> awesome. definitely. What, what what I can appreciate from you guys is you guys are trying to uh, combine different styles. Yeah, and uh, you know, trying to find something, uh, make something unique. And so, uh, I'm just gonna say, keep doing that. Uh, just keep trying out different things and be experiment uh, experimental with your music. And when you find something that works, like what these guys are saying, when you find something that works. Stick with it, um, because because you guys you guys can be heat like what these guys are saying heat all the way through. So, good job, good job, keep it up. Sweet, mm, very Sweet. nice, Louis. Yeah, uh, I agree with all these dirty bastards over here. Yeah, uh, I, I think Tiny said it best. Uh, keep growing. I listen to a lot of uh, Papa Roach, like Panic at the yeah, Disco, nice. yeah. Green Day. You know what I'm saying? You guys are on the right path. Just keep growing. That's, yeah. that's it. Nice. All right. Uh, yes. Jekylls, what would you uh, vote it as? If it was just the second half of the song, it would iTunes the single. But I think right now I'm just going to lime wire it. Yeah, I would uh, definitely I would definitely iTunes it. Uh, oh? I'm going to gamble. I'm going to go buy it. Yeah, I was close to that. Nice. I was close to that. All right, PB. Yeah. Uh, I, I would buy it. Nice. The album? Yeah. Or the... I, 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 what, how, does what, iTunes yeah. or buy the album? iTunes, is by iTunes the just the single. single. Yeah, I, w- iTunes. I would iTunes it. Yeah, I would album. buy the single, and you know, I would definitely be checking for what you guys are doing next. Like, cause like I said, I like the song. It grabbed me, 
And if you guys continue to grow with like what Louis says, I would definitely get the album eventually. But Very nice. I'm going to lie it. All right. I tune it. Close. <laughs> I tune it. That's there all right. I know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> you all know what I meant. No big deal. Yeah. Tiny? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get the album. Nice. Very nice. Louis? Lime wire. All right. Wow, nice. this is all over the place, but I think it averaged out to be iTunable. I yes. believe so. I believe so. So, Tanner, let him have it. Well, it's coming. And, it's I'll, coming. and I'll kind of fill it in. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you guys get the ooh wow. for getting our second highest rating on the show. iTunes the single. Congrats to you guys. Um, I don't think there was anybody here who hated the song. No way. No. No. We just no. like different parts for different reasons. Yes. But yes. overall, a <laughs> lot of talent there, a lot yes. of great music. Yeah. Now, speaking of great talent and great music, we have... In-house guest today, yes. Black uh, Sky is in the house. Yes. yes. Yeah. They've been uh, here critiquing <laughs> and talking with us all night. We got PB and Lou. The <laughs> <laughs> they know it. They know PB it and Louis the 13th. And yes, uh, they came to uh, not only share some music tonight, but also promote their show going on this Sunday. And we're pretty dang excited. So next I'm, uh, Sunday. Turn to next Sunday. The 28th, next, the baby. 28th. The 28th. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to turn the time over to them to kind of... Uh, Give us a little heads up on what's going on with them and uh, where, where Black Sky is at since the last time uh, they were here on the show. Oh man, you know what? We just been in the we've been in the studio working hard. Uh, every, nothing can start until you got a CD, you got a product, and we want to give our fans something that they never heard before. And we just been in the in the studio, man, making uh, making hits. Nice, very good. Right. Yep, and I agree exactly what he said. You know. It takes time to grow. So for every artist, I give them nothing but props because it takes time. And then especially how the music is these days, you never know what's going to make you be the next best thing. So just keep doing what you're doing because that's exactly what we're doing. And hopefully that you like, you know what I'm saying? Or you agree exactly with what, what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's yeah. a gamble, right? Cause yeah, I mean, it's always. Like something that mm-hmm. you think is hot and even like everybody like, man, that is good. It may be another like three songs later on your album that may be hot to everybody exactly. else. It's like I would assume, exactly. you know what I mean? That that's probably hard. It's hard to tell. Yeah. You, yeah. If it was that easy to be like, okay, I'm gonna make the next hit. Here it goes. We'd all be millionaires. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this right actual now. song that we're gonna play for you is called "The Hole in Your Heart So Real." Uh, basically, well, me and Lou are are yin and yang. Lou always does his own thing, and that's what makes us so great. Uh, I stuck a little, right, I stuck a little more to the hook, and it's just basically talking about. Uh, there was a time in '07, uh, an A and R company actually found us. We didn't find them, and was pumping was our Sony? heads up. Was yeah. that Sony or Def Jam? That or was Def talking? Jam. Oh, Def Jam. Okay, yeah. And they were Shout telling us how hot we are. We did like several <laughs> auditions for them, and then we were in this uh, thing called like the we we're in the ten best groups of all like Halley, which only ended up to be the five because it was a five hip hop and five rock. Oh shit. And A and R's were in the back and everybody kinda knew who they were, were kissing their ass and they were in the back just getting at chicks, not even paying attention to not one show. And Black Sky was definitely n- by far the hottest band in the house and uh nothing came from it. So like when somebody pumps your head up like that, it's kinda hard to recover when nothing comes from it. And I took a fall from that, I'm not gonna lie to you. So you nice. know what? That's why we've been in the studio working harder than ever. You pick yourself up when you fall down. You don't give up. Uh, Here it is. Sometimes what you're looking for, you find. But it's not what you want. It's not what you need. Then you get stuck with it. And you have to play your cards out. Yeah, look, man. She got the nerve to tell me I'm on the line like Madden And she looking for something like a Latin Hey, what to eat or no trauma No, I can eat it wrong, but I'm too old for this drama I learned that in high school No three-way slipping the fuck yous No letter, real affection I give it to an Alamo style of Texas I make money over breakfast Now I know the call that I'm pregnant I'm a star, baby, first rule is protection All bitches want a cowboy life, all explicit Go out guns blazing when I'm spending Your money ain't surrendering This is my plane forever You know we kindling I change roles like the weather Inside of my soul's like a desert So shoot your bald eagle, this is just the rest of the feathers I'm a government, baby, I never been the peasant she received a sick life's death, but didn't catch the message. I came to phone up and call me when it's destined. Chucky produced the beat. We picked it up so we can 
Lake is the black sky. You know we rock the beat, spitting words so hard, making move your feet. Now get down. Yeah, you got what you wanted, boy. Please tell me this is really what you wanted, boy. When you rap on the big wheels, got your big deal, but the hole in your heart so real. So real, yeah, I took that fall. Almost broke down when I took that call. A&R said that your boy's so hard Set me up a show on the boulevard Sunset, muck, yeah, I rock that show Key Club, muck, yeah, I rock that show Didn't get no dough, but I spit them flows That shut the place down, yeah, you already know These punk muck, was off in the back Supposed to be watching me, they was getting at racks Yeah, they was getting at racks Must not be about the paper stack Cause we are making money like I'm dealing up crap You run it back when I rip it fast Then I squeeze back, yeah I'm kinda bitter, I'm saying PB took a fall so it's hard to keep playing Dang Chuck E produced the beat We picked it out so we can lay this deep black sky You know we ride the beat Spitting words so hard, making room for the feet Now get down Yeah, you got what you wanted, boy Please tell me this is really what you wanted, boy when you riding on the big wheels, got your big deal, but the hole in your heart so real. Nice. That was hot. That was hot. I, 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 I would like to say this. Um, it was awful. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the fact that they were real on the song. Yeah, they sounded like they were speaking on real the issues thing that yeah, I, about the, them. The exact yeah. thing that I, I was gonna say. Not not that it wasn't delivered uh, fantastic. It, it, you guys both both did a great job. Mm -hmm. But I, I love that it was about something. I mean, everybody got them booty shaker songs. Everybody got them money songs. Everybody got and them you need those songs. And those you, are fun songs. Yeah, I love them. them. You need them. Yes, we I, do those too. I <laughs> love them. Sure. I embrace them and I put my face in them and I love them. But I. I do love real songs because so many MCs want to put out such an image and want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, bing, bong, this is what I do. Bam, bam, here's what I am. I got no weakness. I'm Superman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And why I thought it's cool. And it's kind of wow. like wow. The, the way you guys the way you guys are is how we are as a show in the sense that we're like, you know what? We're going to put ourselves out there yeah. and like it or don't. Yes. We're going to put exactly. ourselves out there. We're going to be real about it. And hopefully you dig it. I mean, we want people to want it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But yeah. what, I, what I love is that is that you were just honest about it and you there was a real thing in your life that really affected you and you weren't just like you know what that's too punk let's not do that let's do something harder or something crazy you know what yeah. i'm saying you did it and yeah. and that's how your your fans when you have fans i mean i'm a fan of stuff everybody's a fan of stuff and you're yeah. a fan of things because you feel like either you can relate with them or you like what you see whatever it is but at the end of the day it's a lot of times like oh i relate with that person exactly. oh i like what they said exactly. you know what they made themselves a human being to me they're, they didn't they're, they didn't put right. themselves above they made themselves a human being and they they, they feel stuff like i feel stuff exactly you know what i'm saying so i want to say this me personally i dug it and i love what you guys talk about and i and i just think that everybody uh you know needs those type of songs where you just divulge information you just say stuff about yourself about your life that really shows who you are and yeah. where you're at now you know what i'm saying i, exactly. I just want to say thank that. you I, you know yeah, yeah. And, and he's absolutely right listeners love to idolize stars mm -hmm. but they also like it when they can feel like that person that they idolize has the same type of feelings and emotions that they go through and things that they deal with and just makes them more real to them you know and, yeah. and that's what that's what's cool about that song and I think that's why people in general love to see like celebrities fall down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's because it makes them human. It makes yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh man, this is mother. You know what I'm saying? That's why people sometimes, depending on who it is, like Tiger Woods. A lot of people. I mean, he's still gonna get followers. And I, we're not gonna get in a big debate about this, but because uh, that could be like <laughs> could, a yeah, that, that could be a three-hour show. <laughs> but the bottom line is, there's so many haters on it because he's made himself so invincible. People yeah. want to see, oh, this motherfucker ain't Superman. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You just gotta make yourself relatable to the fans, and that's what you guys are doing. For, for example, your woman's now gonna be available. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> oh, Sandra I was like, Bullock what is now going to be available. <laughs> <laughs> the fight almost popped off in here right now. No, 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 no. Not, not your actual woman, woman. Your other woman, Sandra yeah. Bullock. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah no, She's I know Jesse James. Oh yeah. yeah, I like her. You, you know what I'm saying? That's that's his bow. Name. Sandra Bullock. BB saying what's Ping. up? Ping pow. <laughs> hey, hey, real quick, the the shot room. Shot room is blowing you guys up. Zane Jones. Nice. He said much respect. He's listening to your stuff on MySpace. And nice. 11, 
uh, FN6, son, PB, you my boy. Ah, yeah, what yeah, up, yeah. kid? Yeah, yeah so nice. the, the chat room is blowing you guys up right now. Thank you, chat yeah, that, that was a hot song. I like well that. Deserved. Yeah, I love that. So, so now tell us a little bit about your uh, upcoming show on the 28th of this month. Oh, man, it's called the uh, I Am King Show. It's going to be at the Terrace Nightclub in Pasadena. If you want to come out, the show starts at 7. It runs from 7 to 12 because it's a competition. Uh, Black Sky has actually never been involved in anything like this. We we rock shows all day uh, where they give us our 20 minutes, our 30 minutes show. This time we get to rock two shows. There's going to be some little uh, actual music judges there. So if you're a, a band that wants to get put on, you should actually come down. It's a good event. Uh, the event that's the people that are throwing it are called uh, Fame Street. Uh, entertainment, I believe, mm -hmm. yeah. and mm -hmm. they're a good company, man. Uh, if you want to get put on, they put on new artists, and they'll give you a shot. And their whole thing is to treat the artists like they should be treated. It's a red carpet event. They're gonna uh, interview us after the show, and it's something that we're looking forward to. And we're gonna rock the house like we always do. That's nice. Yeah. I got Great. my ticket, yeah. buddy. I got yeah. my ticket today, baby. Wow. Now, where can where can people get tickets for this? Uh, all you, you can actually just go go down there, and if if you want to be a fan of ours, mm -hmm. you can say you're there to see Black Sky and just pay your ticket at the door. Uh, we actually have tickets. I mean, it'd probably be hard since the show's in a week for you to actually right. get a hold of us and get a gra grab a ticket from us. But if you want a uh, Terrace Nightclub, Pasadena, on Colorado, uh, in California, in, in California, California. Uh, you can go to my MySpace. Uh, just go to MySpace keyword Black Sky. Uh, there's only two people on there, me and Louie. I'm the one on the top with green shirt. You and know, how you I got spell my that? shirt off because I'm cute <laughs> like that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how you spell that? Oh, we, we spell Black Sky uh, B L A Q. Uh, we, that's the way we copyrighted it. It's B L A Q S K Y, all one word. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. All right, so so what uh, what else do we have to look forward to from Black Sky? What's 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 the future looking like? What's coming oh up next? Oh man, our our second album's almost done, and <laughs> you're gonna be mind blown. We got stuff like secret stuff in the wings that you're just not ready for. We like songs like that, we're we're revealing ourselves to the people, and we're giving people what what they want. But it's we're giving them what they want because it's what we do. I've, I've never claimed to be a gangster rapper, mm -hmm. uh, partying and pimping and just living life is kind of what i do you know and <laughs> you'll find me in havasu every labor day memorial day if you want to kick it with your boy yeah i like that you're not you're not saying this and that don't rap like tiny's always told this to artists and it's usually it's usually rappers and mcs is who it's who it's usually directed to is if you don't do it, don't rap about it. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's okay to stretch the truth and be cute about it and have fun. That's a yeah. different thing. But don't don't if if you don't do it, don't say you do it. Exactly. You know, on on exactly. the majority. Yeah. You know. I agree. One hundred percent. All right. Well, we want to thank you guys for you know coming by and sharing that with us. Oh, for and sure. uh, if you guys yeah. don't mind now, we're gonna go ahead and continue the show. Turn Please. the time back over to Tiny and get into another song. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Our last song of the day. This dude is named Connor Conroy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he does Sorry. electronic music out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Sounds about right. Yeah, it does. Hey, guys. My <laughs> name is Connor Conroy, and I'm 15. I make music <laughs> by myself, and I feature my friends. Yeah. My music is pretty different. I love this guy, My main <laughs> influences are Marilyn Manson and Nine Inch Nails. Wow. 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 I've been making music that. by myself. For about a month, He's and recently big. left a band called Hidden Frame. And I have He's uh, fifteen, and this yeah, is yeah. the Maryland match. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, interesting. Uh, uh, is, <laughs> this guy's wild. I know it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this song is called Natural Selection, and uh, this is Connor Conroy from Oklahoma. Here we go.
selection. Natural Selection by Connor Conroy. Very nice. And if you want to email him, get in contact with him for anything, <laughs> oh, you, yeah. you can email him at I'm the real Bob one by <laughs> yahoo.com. Yeah, right. <laughs> I ain't lying, man. I'm making this up. <laughs> MySpace.com slash Connor Conroy makes bad music. Bad. Bad. This is true. <laughs> he said, I don't have no upcoming shows uh, because it's physically impossible for me to play everything at once. Wow. Wow. All right, let's do it. Wow. I, I feel bad because I don't know you, but I, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which part? The but ambition? This, 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 yeah, I, I love your ambition. I, 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 your I, drive? I, I love your drive. You're only 15. You got your whole life ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, uh, man, you know what? Honestly, the the intro I liked, I really did. Then it started getting all fucking gloomy, like eyes wide shut shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought someone was gonna come with a mask behind me and shit and <laughs> sexually ravage me. Like I, I don't know, man. This shit, this shit was weird as fuck. And uh, I mean, I like that little change that we did. It got a little quicker up tempo. It seemed like for a second. I could have done without that natural selection. I could have done without that. But, you know what I'm saying? And that other oh, shit, I don't know what the fuck. You said something weird. No, he said it's it said it's easy to to mess with those beep beep people when you have a gun. Something like that. But you're picked on way too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, right, you know what I'm saying? Like seriously, the the thing is I I, I love that, you know what I'm saying? Like for you being 15, you put something together not too bad. For you yeah. being 15 years old, to be honest with you, I couldn't put this shit like this together. You know what I'm saying? I was still getting good at jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, uh, I just... I thought I, you were a pro by then. It was one of the uh, two, right? It was one of the two. Either make yeah. a beat or a jack Make a beat or jerk it. I said, fuck it. it was I'm, I'm going to feel good. You got to remember, he's 15. He's still in that stage where he's embarrassed to jerk off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was because I wasn't. But I mean, hey, some yeah. some of yeah. LA no boomers. Excuses, no excuses. I, I was embarrassed at nine to jerk off. At fifteen, I was. <laughs> I, I was. Nine, you know what I'm saying? Like I was getting like arching my back. I was. I, I, I was. I was. I was finding out what diesel liked. You know what I'm saying? Like I was learning myself. Arching my back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Oh man! So he had different techniques. Oh, oh you, yeah. You know? Yeah. You, try, you found the brand of lotion you like? But, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. You don't even need lotion when you're good. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying you don't. You know what I'm saying? Even better than the real hey, thing. Hey, you don't need. Dad, you didn't whoa, tell me your whoa. technique because I need lotion, dog. Hey, look. Hey, you don't need lotion. You don't need no pornographs. You need your mind and your hand. Ah, oh, buddy. Man. But here's the thing. I need porn and lotion. Uh, that's oh, a trained really? master right there, guys. No, I'm not lying. Master. I got enough stuff in this funky ass head of mine that I don't need porn to grab. Damn. But oh. I, I, I just, I just, I just want to say that you know what? I love your enthusiasm, and I look like go get it. But you ain't gonna get it from me. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is the exact go reason. Go get it, but not here. This is the exact reason I don't like this shit. Man. I'm sorry. Man. I, I just don't. I don't like this music. And if if someone likes this music, I can see someone digging this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you don't like this, here's the thing: if you don't like this music, this ain't gonna draw somebody in. No. <laughs> is what no, I'm saying. No. This ain't gonna make somebody a believer. This ain't nah. gonna make somebody. Oh, I never liked that shit before, but that was good. That ain't that ain't the case. Yeah. So, but but keep grinding, and and I know you could do something good, but this wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? But I I definitely think that you you know what I'm saying? Like you might be able to make something that people dig. But I, for me, this didn't make me a believer. This didn't make me a fan of the music, and this just, this makes me hate it more. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't like it, but I did get some enjoyment. I thought it was funny a little bit. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but um, just because I can make jokes about it, <laughs> that's about it. I'm sorry, but you know, but but I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna be like Tiny in this sense, cause Tiny's the nicest guy ever, and what he says is true. Like, don't give up, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, keep going, and there's gonna be someone that might, that might dig your music. 
Yeah. So uh, more than your family, because your family's gonna tell you you're hot no matter what. Your family and your one friend you got are gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> like See, I didn't have family like that. You yeah. My family Dang told me if I sucked. Oh, man. It's good. It's good. Man. Well, that's good though. Yeah. It's good. You know. Hey, Jekyll's they, they, gonna do a song with Black Sky. Don't. They drip. made you the mediocre yeah. MC that you are. Move <laughs> 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 in. <laughs> no, no, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> all right. Sorry, little brother. That's a diamond <laughs> in the rough. You guys don't know about Jack. That's, That's my boy. He's no, no. fits fire. Yeah, he so does. Yeah, so, 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 who's next? I'm next. Okay. Um, he said he said it perfectly. The the only thing I got extra to say is it's for 15 year old. This is a good stepping stone. <coughs> that's what I said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that's all. That's all I got. So you said what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said. I said you, you said it. Wrong. You said it right. Don't add stuff. Wow. I said it. <laughs> I said it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I said it. Stupid ass producer. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets to talk to the producer like that? I'm all fired. <laughs> no more diesel. <laughs> you're, you're all cut out. I know. I know. Your whole segment's all, all gone. the mic's just muted. He's like talking still. You don't hear nothing. <laughs> Man. All right, uh, PB. Uh, I only wrote one tiny, simple thing. Uh, sell me the beat. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I was thinking the same exact as far, thing. As far as an MC on this, yeah, song. Far, it's, I know, it's, man. I was thinking that. Seriously, like it's <laughs> far, <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> what I, said yeah. I said that. If you're going for uh, trying to be an artist, uh, I'm gonna give you the lowest rating that is possible to give. But I mean, the beat was cool. You know, I mean, I could go somewhere dark in my in my in, in my own mind with that, and I'd spit. I spit on that shit. I'm sorry. I don't know what you were doing with the beat, but I'll spit on that <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Sell me the beat. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, real MCs if, talking. If, if you were an artist on that, bro, and your little stuff that you added in, nah, man, kick it to the curb. Agreed, Tanner. Uh, you know, all I'm really gonna say is, uh, you know, just keep, just keep practicing, just keep working on your craft, and uh, just keep making, making more music, and hopefully. Hopefully by the time you're 18, you can change your MySpace to <laughs> Con- Conroy makes good music. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how about this? Conroy's trying. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep the it real. Step, the next step. Keep it real. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. 25. 25, then you can change. Yeah. At, yeah. at 25 or 30, when you are just banging, bam, Conroy bangs. That's fine. Yeah. Do that. Man. Right now. It's like, you remember know, me, punks? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but right now, it's what do you think? I hope you like it. Dot com. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? All right, uh, Louis. You no, know what, man? Um, your program you're using. Uh, it's kind of sound like Fruity Loops. Like watch yes. your bars, watch your bars on how you place them. You know, the simple fact that you can actually make a beat is just fantastic because it's yeah, it's hard enough yeah. just to do that. Period. You know what I'm saying? That's People cool, don't right? know. Yeah. Put more money or go raid your parents, uh, piggy bank tools. or whatever they got to, and go get something that you can make. Go get a beat machine or something. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually make beats. Uh, NPC. You know, progress yourself. You know what I'm saying? Always. That's good enough. Jack I don't goes. like it. All right. My <laughs> That's good enough. I don't like it. <laughs> hey, you don't understand. Louis didn't tell you to go kill yourself, so you good, right? I don't know why that yeah. was just, that was just so funny <laughs> because he started out, hey, man, keep going. You're only 15. And he ends with, okay, I'm done. I don't like he it. He did the same thing last time. <laughs> Remember? He was all positive, and then at the end, he's all, go kill yourself. Remember? <laughs> he's, he's, he's tricky. He'll so put a switch on He's tricky. I'm uh, saying he's tricky. He draws you in. And <laughs> hey, he gives you the, like, the, the best, like, the, like they're Builds not you up yeah. just to break you down. <laughs> Seriously, man. That's what you get, Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Jackals, go ahead. All right, all right, Connor. First thing I'm going to clue you into. There's a little tool in the program Talent? that you're using called Quantize. Okay? <laughs> you need to quantize all your loops so that they hit on beat. Exactly. Okay? Wow. One thing with electronica music is that Electronica is very precise. Yes. And yes. even if you're doing something slow, it still has to be on beat and it has to be accurate. Right now, things are coming in a little off beat, a little mm-hmm. off time, and it doesn't sound right. It sounds very sloppy. Exactly. So quantize your stuff. Um, the other thing I would say is that I thought you had the great beginning of an intro. And then when it started going quicker, I thought it was going to build into something. Yes. But it built up yeah. into nothing. And that's where I really got let down because I thought, great. okay. Decent intro, and then let it build up, and then it was going to go into something quick and something that was going to really catch my interest, but it went back into the same pattern as the beginning, which I thought was just an intro. So I think for electronic music, you either, one, on this beat, you either need to put an artist on it to make it more catchy, or you need to add more to it, because right now it's not interesting enough to really hold someone's attention, and they're going to get bored really quickly. Um, 
like PB said, I can hear an MC on here probably twisting. Yeah. That would just tear it up. Yeah. And make yeah. it a lot more. It would just make it better than what it is right now. Yeah. It would actually yeah. elevate the track. Yep. Um, so, you know, Connor, you're only 15. Keep doing what you're doing. Right now, I wasn't really feeling this track, but I'm hoping, uh, you know, you can get better. All right. What you For about? your sake. Read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> <Read the instructions. laughs> go kill yourself. <laughs> um, go, the instructions say go kill yourself. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. Uh, you honestly, you got to know uh, what happened the last time we yeah, were here. I was telling that, man. I was yeah. inside right there. I, yeah, you yeah. Know, it's all good. Until there's it's something all, until there's something more or an artist <laughs> on it, I wouldn't listen to it again on purpose. Yeah, I, I wouldn't listen to it uh, again on purpose. Oh, Yeah, never. I'd listen to it if you was going to give it to me to I want to buy it. Oh, we can sample it. <laughs> we, we got to record it now. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, hey, uh, your, song, yeah, your, he, your song's going to be on. to get his permission first. Your song's going to be on another show. You. I'm going to be. I'm gonna be spitting on it. <laughs> let you. So I'm gonna steal it. So if you can't steal it, would you listen to it again? But before uh, you send it to us, can you quantize it? If I can't steal it, uh, <laughs> no. No. Okay, tiny. I wouldn't listen to it again on purpose. Uh, no. I'm gonna say uh, I wouldn't pop a pill, smoke weed. I wouldn't <laughs> do cocaine or anything to this. So sorry. So you I just wouldn't wire anything. <laughs> you just destroyed all of Louis' fun. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined Louis' life. Thanks exactly. a lot, kid. <laughs> What's he going to do for the next 30 years of his life? <laughs> no uh, sex, no nothing to this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I would get a blowjob to it, though. Oh, I man. Would. I would. Yeah. I would. Nice. <laughs> so, so you get a blowjob to get a blow <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So you're saying they should uh, they should play this song in Sober House? <laughs> Reality Sober House, and people just become yeah, sober? You know. No, that'll make <laughs> them go off the deep end, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fall off that fucking wagon. Rodman just uh, killed himself. Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> hey, Louis, you, sarc- you sarcastic motherfucker. Um, I get a blowjob to anything, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Zane, Jones, Zane Jones says he'd listen to it again if, if he was hot. Ah, there you get to it. You got the weed vote. You know what? You know what? I know. I know how Lou would listen to the song again if a stripper was dancing to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know what? I would. I would. Yeah. How, why would you not? You're not I gay. Would. Exactly. You know <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Connor, uh, I'm, so I'm pretty sure already. that you're <laughs> waiting on titties, the show. Titties make all music good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the magic of titties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, your rating is going to be never listen to it again on purpose. Try to be nice. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like calculate it. Uh, uh, let me, yeah, it's close. But, uh, Deliver well, the verdict, but the thing. Deliver you're young, the verdict. You're young. You got time. So, you know, you have time to develop. Just uh, start learning the program a little bit better and experiment with more sounds. You try try new things. Agreed. I'm glad yeah. you said that. You yeah. know what, dude? Yeah. You are young. And you know what? For, for fi- being 15 years old, man, I mean, when you're 15, you're 15. So you're thinking you're old right now you're thinking you're the shit but i mean you don't understand as somebody older telling you this you're fucking young dude so <laughs> can i say that on yeah, the radio yeah. got a lot oh, of time dude. Can yeah I? you got a lot of time man <laughs> and you can progress the uh, beat wasn't that bad like i said if you put an artist on there somebody that could play with their voice and and like do something with that you would have a better song but right now it's not nah, it's not good though. get better and you could be the beat making justin bieber yeah oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. all right well if you enjoyed today's show and you want to find out anything else about any of our artists or even black sky and yes. their upcoming events and their music you can hit us up at nobody we'll have all their information posted there <laughs> uh also um if you'd like to be an artist on the show please hit us up at nobody cares show at gmail.com and we will email you all the information that you need so that you can submit your song the hiccups and shit <laughs> do you really <laughs> and i got to piss yeah <laughs> if, <laughs> so, shit, man. if you want to if you want to uh, uh, listen to this show you can listen to it off our video player it'll have images and stuff for you to listen to as you're Absolutely. watching it and uh images also listen to? if you want huh images to listen to and watch it i said Oh. <laughs> While you're listening to it, you can watch he it. said images as you're watch as you're listening. That's, I don't what, he think that's what he said. We have to rewind that one. Yeah, I want to rewind that <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it, if you want to get any of our other past shows, you can also download them at iTunes Store or at Zoom Store to your MP3 players. Please subscribe. That way, you get every episode yes. directly uploaded to your iTunes player. Wow. And what about the NCS Store? The nobody. Care Show Store with the best paraphernalia. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, we have the greatest looks. looks, greatest styles, greatest fashions, all kinds of sh- uh, all kinds of shirts, t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> I almost said shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, you did. No, no yes, you did. I was, was going to say show, and then I was like, shirt. He tries not to cuss. No. He what I was going to say was... Uh, shit. You were going to say shit. <laughs> I was going to say show. <laughs> Just say it, motherfucker. Anyways, shit. stuff from the show that has happened in the past will be on these shirts and if you're an avid listener you'll get a lot of the jokes that's on these uh-huh. t-shirts and you'll want some because yeah. it's hot it is it's fire the best looks <laughs> best looks 
Everyone's and, uh, doing and it. And I think it's pretty reasonably priced. Yes. Very reasonably priced. Yeah, All right, yeah. uh, let's see. <laughs> Plice. Plice. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Getting the. All uh, fucked up. Shout out to the chat room. We have Eleven. We have Champion, and we got Zane Jones and a guest in there. Zane yes. Jones. Uh, if you want to hear Zane Jones music, go to myspace.com/slash Zane Jones. You do. You do. TB Eleven, you're Wait, my boy. Wait. Say it again. Say the Zane Jones shit again. MySpace.com slash Zane Jones. My chat room at. You can yeah. follow him Twitter.com slash Zane, Zo- Zane Jones. You're drunk Z- too. A Y N. Champion, he's from uh, Zephyr Riot. Thanks a lot for submitting. Thank you, buddy. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. You can find their music on MySpace.com slash Zephyr Riot. All right, nice. and thanks again to Black Sky for please Thank coming, you. Right, for coming to our show. Yeah. And we appreciate it. And you guys, you know, you're friends, and you're also uh, welcome on the show anytime you want to come back. Yeah. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there and, it and is. Sh- and shouts out to, uh, to, to Louis XIII's little bro here, too, listening in the background. There yes, sir. Getting right. done. Yeah, shout out to Mimi, and we're out. Peace. 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 Got to piss. Pit.